Reduction printing kicks up block printing a notch by allowing you to print several times with different colors. First you start off with a basic drawing. You'll do this on paper the size of the block. Then, once you're done with the drawing, you'll tape it face down on the block. Tape it top and bottom securely and use pencil to do a pencil transfer covering the back of the paper completely, pressing down hard so it transfers beautifully. Once you're done with that transfer and it's on the block, then you'll go over it with Sharpie. You do this so that when you're washing the block in between prints, the design stays on. Now it's time for you to begin planning out your color. Choose a minimum of four colors. Color your paper example so that it guides you. And then we begin carving. You're gonna carve away the areas you want white on your print first. So you'll carve those away and get those all cleaned up. In mine, I wanted the border to remain white. Once you're done carving away the areas you want white, you're gonna begin by labeling your print papers top and bottom with your initial and heading. I put a T and B at the top and bottom. Then I printed the lightest color for my print onto my block. After I braid that on nice and even, I went ahead and printed four of my papers that I had labeled. After that, I'm going to clean off my block with baby wipes. I'm going to clean off my brayer too, so there's no need to go to the sink. Just get it nice and clean. Then I'm going to carve away the area of my second lightest color, in which case was blue for me. Then you bray it and ink it. Then you clean your block again with baby wipes and your brayer. And then you carve away your third lightest color, in which case mine was red. And then you print that onto your prints all over again and you can now begin to see the layering process and what that looks like. Lastly, you clean off your block and your brayer. You add your darkest color, carve away the last bit of area that you want in that darkest color. For me, it was the outlines and then you print. Then you have your prints to choose from. You'll choose your top two, you'll mount them, and that is your project.